Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to be showing off my Animal Crossing New Horizons town. To start off the tour, this is uh, this is the front of my house. We have, um, here actually first let's uh, show off my outfits. Hang on, how do I control? So this is what I was wearing before. Here is uh, basic, so I guess this is, uh, this is what I used mostly <laughs> when I was playing this game. I do have that hoodie in real life, so pretty cool. I'll probably use that for the rest, but here's sports. Well, let's uh, talk to Agnes here. Yeah, yeah, I have it in plan. So here's sports if I'm feeling sporty. Hi, Ankh. Everyone's just coming to my house right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then we got Firewatch cosplay. This one I'm really proud of. I think it turned out really well. Uh, here's Walrus, reference to the Walrus and the Carpenter story. Here's the Glitchmaster 7 outfit. I'll provide the creator code for us so you can get this and all of the other Little Big Planet shirts and hats in this game if you want them. Next up, we have Dustin from Stranger Things. I also really like how this cosplay turned out. Here's Handmade, which is... I just really liked these uh, costume pieces, so I put them together. And then Cutie, which is just a cute blue dress. We're gonna go with basic today, because I guess that's <laughs> that's what my main costume was. Alright, so here's my two flamingos in front of my house with my two blue roses. Here's JPEG dog next to the old rocking chair out front. You can come out here and have a barbecue. You'll see these patterns around my island quite a bit. I'll see if I can get the name for who made them. They kind of look like the uh, Animal Crossing GameCube look, so I put those around. Here's my store. Yep. Pretty basic stuff. All right, so let's follow this path. You got a nice little uh, swing chair there. Go down this path, you see some other random junk. Uh, you'll also see these zombie Elvis newspapers around. This is a reference to Grand Theft Auto Vice City and GTA 3 that just have those everywhere, and I think they're really funny. You'll also notice all my trees. I've put little sand plots so that I can have palm trees around my island. Here's Agnes's house, which I've given her things to turn her into a goth girl, and we'll see if there's anything interesting in Able Sisters. And then over here I have a little lighthouse, and we'll take a look up and around here. Julian, I don't know what the heck you're wearing there, but wear your galaxy hoodie. I guess Ankh stole it. Alright, over here is uh, Flora's house, and I've got a bunch of orange trees around. Here's my energy creation along the shoreline. Some cute little chairs here. Uh, my shark that's trapped on land. Capping. Chilling. Up here, um, I've got a little waterfall where you can hang out with the duck. And right over here is kind of like a little, I don't know, just kind of a whimsical patch if you will, with an ocarina, and surrounded by money trees, because <laughs> I didn't know what to do. So I guess there's just money trees everywhere. Up here you've got the fish that is trapped, staring at the waterfall. Man. You go up the coast here, and you'll find a uh, Mario Sunshine reference with the uh, Shadow Mario M. And you go all the way up here, and you can sit on the toilet. Majestic. And you go over here. This is the only way to get to my secret island, is way back here. Looks like Red's not in today. And we'll head back down and take a look at the rest. Trying to fill out our money tree orchard. Going up here. Got these cute little stairways. We've got Dobby chilling at his pond. I got Dobby because he looks like the dad from Initial D. I kind of made him the Initial D tofu shop with the car <laughs> beside the house. What's up, Dobby? Up here, I I'm not sure what to do with this little area, but it's just kind of open. Um, up here is Apollo's house, which I spent a good four months playing every single day just to water roses to try and get blue roses and here's my yield yeah i wanted to kind of give apollo his blue rose patch back from the animal crossing movie so i think that worked out well he's hammering away wearing my shirt so now down here we've got freaking eunice hanging green mums here little uh place to chill up here you'll notice a i terraformed the back of my island to kind of look like how the old Animal Crossings looked, how there was just kind of a wall at the top of the place. So I, I really like how this turned out and the weeds are intentional. I like how they look. Over here you've got another fish who is destined to never swim in the pond again. Little path up here. Over here is kind of a reference to the intro of Firewatch 
with the um, lantern and just kind of this campsite. From down here, you got Ankh's house and a little place to sit. I can't leave. And then right down here is the campsite with a little fireplace, whatever that's called. And then down here on this little island, I've got a little picnic area with some crap I don't know what to do with. When it's nighttime, you can sit on the stump and look up at the stars. I set the uh, radio to play really quietly so it's almost like there's like the music stops so that's pretty. Nothing really over here just rocks on either side. Up here we've got a, an entire flower patch where I just watered flowers until it took over the whole area. Then I kind of put them in nice spots so that there's just a variety of colors up here and some black roses. <laughs> I forgot that I put Steve and I right here. Um, yep, some more flowers over here. Over here we got kind of like a, another little campsite so you can hang out. Over here is my orchard where I have every or all the different types of uh, fruit. Up here is a vague reference to Hawaii Part 2. It kind of looks like the monster that's on the album art, so I put that there. And a piano. I've got some uh, kind of hidden creepy pastas over in the over in the orchard little clearing here. Here's another one. And then some more... some bamboo that hasn't grown in two years. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And then you go up this little path and you kind of have a nice little chair swing to look out at the ocean. Tried to make this path look a little bit natural, but looks okay. Over here is just a little clearing. Down here you get back to the uh, store and the museum. I have a display of a T-Rex e fighting a whatever that is. Fun fact, did you know you can open and close the jaw of, the, of this dinosaur? You make them fight. This leads up to the orchard. And then we have uh, this dude chilling out by the water, all dried up, and the beach. Another place to lay under the palm trees. I did set these little stands up so that if you break a fishing rod you can just kind of grab one right here which I recommend doing it's nice. See if we get junk. Hey we learned something. Uh, up here is the dump where I put recipes that I've already found. I kind of made it look like the original Animal Crossing dump. I think it turned out good. Here's the kind of entryway when you get to the island you're introduced to whatever this is. <laughs> Yon Cat with this song playing. Little rainbow dash, looking at the fountain for some reason. Uh, up here is Dell's house, which I'm trying to get rid of him and find another cat villager. Here's Camo Frog's house. Uh, here, I don't know what the heck to do with this area, so I just put random junk here. Looks okay. Uh, down here you have a sand castle and another Mario Sunshine reference. Some more newspapers polluting the area. Yet another place to chill with the tackle box. I think that's pretty much everything outside, so let's take a look at the inside. Gotta kill some bugs. Um, here's my cat. Um, I like these kind of sewing stuff. I, w I went with like a log cabin kind of look in here, so everything's kind of wood themed. I like that style a lot. Some random junk everywhere. You're telling me this TV only has composite input? I guess Anka's here. Ankh's here for the tour. Yeah, big fish, scary photo of pumpkin guy. Uh, up here. Okay, waiter. <laughs> Up here is the server room. I like to imagine that this is Nintendo Switch Online servers housed entirely in my Animal Crossing house. Adequate cooling here. Next up, I guess, is is just kind of my room to the side. I just kind of put stuff that I thought looked cool. It's, a, it's kind of random and not super organized, but it's there. You got the desk playing Minecraft and TV. Yeah, just kind of space stuff. Next up is the room over here. This is the... <laughs> moon landing recreation set <laughs> this is where it was done right here i know that there is a uh, an actual moon flooring but it's so annoying to get you just have to wait for the celeste to show up and there's only a chance it's lame upstairs we've got vaporwave club so you've got your plants and lights and fax machine have yourself some water the flamingos welcome you in and here's the dj with some surprisingly good animal crossing lighting and you get to chillax by the pool and then downstairs we've got the arcade. Yeah, we got like a nice retro flooring here and I've got pinball machines and arcade machines everywhere. A fun place to hang out. Play some Mahjong, play some Street Fighter and some whatever. We'll see if I'm lucky. 
I'm not. And that was the house tour. So yeah, that's uh, kind of my town and how it ended up being. My Animal Crossing kind of, you know, obviously came out at a good time. Um, I was just finishing up college. All of our classes got moved to online only, so I was able to just kind of chill and play Animal Crossing. And I played it very consistently for like months and at that point i got pretty burned out which i feel like is a lot of people's experiences with it but i'm glad it was there and yeah i hope you enjoy the video hope you enjoyed the kind of tour here and um yeah comment right subscribe follow me on twitter follow me on twitch and um yeah bye bye